What is up you guys, Matt here, Mr. Matt Darnell, and here in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can play uh, DVDs, movies, uh, video files, audio files, pretty much media playback, and do that on your JTAG or Reset Glitch Hack Xbox 360. Alrighty guys, so most of you know that the Xbox 360 can be used as a home entertainment system, whether it be from playing DVDs, music, uh, Another popular thing to do is people hook up their iPods and phones and they'll run an app and it will play movies and music from the iPod onto the Xbox 360 on their TV. Well, with the retail Xbox 360, you don't have to worry about this because when you load up uh, your media, you'll get a update from Xbox Live and it will update it, providing you the codecs pretty much that allow you to play uh, the media back on your Xbox 360. However, with a JTAG or Reset Glitch Hack Xbox 360, you, do, you cannot connect to Xbox Live, so pretty much that means you cannot get the codecs or the files that you need to play back media. Well, in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can get that update on your JTAG or Reset Glitch, Hack, uh, Reset Glitch Hacked Xbox 360, and you can play the media. Now this is labeled the optional media update. Uh, the newest version was released in 2011, so I'd recommend that one. However, if you're on a really old dashboard or you're running a JTAG, then I'd recommend grabbing the old pre-2011 media update. And if you're running a reset glitch hack, then I would recommend uh, go ahead and grab the 2011 uh, optional media update. There will be links in the description to both of those files as well for 2011 and pre-2011. Like I said, if you have a JTAG, go for the pre-2011, and if you have a Reset Glitch Hack, go for the 2011. Unless you're running the latest dashboard on your Reset Glitch Hack or JTAG Xbox 360, in that case you want to use the 2011 uh, optional media update. You do not need NAND keys, you don't need CPU keys, you don't need to boot into Excel, you don't need to do any of that, you don't need a NAND dump, nothing. This is a optional media update, uh, pretty much does it all on the console pretty much we modify some files as all we do update we're doing by hand so the main thing you want to do is you want to download this uh, zip file like I said there will be a description link in the description below on how to download the 2011 and pre 2011 files I have the 2011 files here so let's we'll go ahead and we'll 7-zip and extract the files we'll click OK there and we'll get a folder here in the folder you'll notice that we have a uh, pretty much our content files here along with the update right there or the updated file uh, like I said we're going to be installing this update by hand however it is very easy it may sound scary but in reality it's really easy so we'll just have this uh, folder up there and we're going to want to go ahead and load up Xbox 360 neighborhood or your FTP client or you can transfer this via USB flash drive or a memory unit uh, it's really up to you. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do this through Xbox 360 Neighborhood and FTP. So we'll go ahead and we'll load up Xbox 360 Neighborhood here. And we'll go to our JTAG here. Once we're in here, we just want to go to our hard drive. It should be labeled Volume HDD1, or that should be your hard drive. Go ahead and double click on that. Once we're in here, you just want to go to the Content folder here. Once we're in the content folder here, choose the file folder with that has all zeros. Go ahead and double click on that. And pretty much we're going to look for a folder named FFFE07DF. In this case you can see I already have the folder right here so we'll double click it. If you already have the folder, you may notice that you have the three zeros, four, along with four other zeros right after it. Go ahead and ignore that folder. Open up this file right here, and we'll drag this folder on here. And just like so, it's going to transfer those files to our Xbox 360, the JTAG to reset glitch hack. And as you can see, we have that file right in there on our JTAG to reset glitch hack Xbox 360. Now, if you do not have that folder uh, then just go ahead and drag this folder onto your JTAG to reset glitch hack Xbox 360. You can do the same thing with FTP, and if you have XCX menu or a file manager, you can use a USB flash drive to do so as well on your JTAG to reset glitch hack Xbox 360. That's how you install this optional media update by hand without going on Xbox Live, uh, without doing any NAND dump, CPU dump, none of that. 
uh, just the easiest installation ever. And your JTAG to reset glitch hack should be good to go to play media files now. So that's about it for this video, guys. I have my JTAG to reset glitch hack Xbox 360 running in the background. If you cannot hear it, the fans are running quite loud. However, I do have noise cancellation. So you're just going to restart your Xbox 360, load in a DVD, load in your media, all that good stuff, and you should be good to go. Uh, to play all your media content on your Xbox 360. However, please note it will not play .vob files, so you'll need to convert those to AVI files. And you can do so uh, on the internet. You can find tutorials on that, on how to convert your files. That's all you have to do. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like, comment, and subscribe for future videos. <coughs> And please go ahead and give this video a like. Please subscribe. Uh, we just reached 500 subscribers. Actually, we're about 540 right now. And I will be making my 500 subscribers video very soon. I've been busy with multiple things that I will explain in that 500 subscribers video uh, that I am pretty excited about. And I'm sure you guys will be pretty excited about as well, including some new projects that I'm working on with the guys over at XPG. Go ahead and check their website as well, XP Game Saves. Like I said, like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Come back for future JTAG, Reset Glitch Hack, uh, Xbox 360, and even retail uh, tutorials as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, guys. I'll see you later.